Welcome to the official personality guru. In this video, you will find comparisons of two personality types, ENFJs and the Enneagram Type 3s, across four important personality domains, interpersonal communication style, emotional style, intellectual style, and organizational style. We have collected data about personality traits from thousands of participants who identified as a particular type from the 16 personality or Enneagram typology. For each comparison area below, you will see how the average similarities and differences between ENFJs and Type 3s. While these comparisons are useful for understanding broad trends across these types, it's important to remember that all personality types are oversimplifications. For an assessment of your unique personality, you will want to use an assessment that goes beyond single personality types. Today, let's talk about ENFJ personality and Enneagram Type 3. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. ENFJ and Type 3 Interpersonal and Communication Styles Your particular style of communicating and interacting with others can be described fairly well by two dimensions, assertiveness and warmth. Assertiveness describes your tendency to assert and to assert yourself, lead and influence others in social situations, while warmth describes your tendencies to empathize and put others' needs ahead of your own. People with the same personality type often share some similarities in assertiveness and warmth. The NFJs often support, openly sympathize, and actively offer help to others at their best. They are gentle sympathizers who are easily trusted and accepted. The NFJs may be overly revealing and have difficulty being alone. At their worst, they can require too much attention and admiration from others and be excessively involved in the affairs of others. Type 3s often manage, direct, and try to lead others. At their best, they provide guidance and leadership and naturally command respect. Type 3s may be domineering as well, forceful or overly direct. At their worst, they can be overbearing and micromanaging. One notable difference between many ENFJs and most Type 3s is in your interpersonal warmth. Like many ENFJs, you are more likely on the warmer, friendlier, more empathetic side of the spectrum. Compared to you and other ENFJs, Type 3's interpersonal style can sometimes feel distant, cold, and uninterested in your wants and needs. However, you and most Type 3s both tend to be more assertive and dominant in social situations. You are both managing, directing, and leading others, and you feel comfortable taking the lead. This this may lead you to butt heads with some type 3s because at times, you can both be domineering or overly directed. ENFJ and Type 3 Emotional Styles Another characteristic of your personality is your emotional style, your tendencies towards different kind of moods. There are two dimensions that influence emotional style. Arousal and Valence Arousal describes your relative energy level across different situations. Those with high baseline levels of arousal tend to be generally more alert, active, and engaged, while those with a lower baseline are more reserved, subdued, and inhibited. Valence describes whether these moods tend to be positive or negative. People with a more positively valence style are more likely to experience emotions like joy, enthusiasm, satisfaction, and serenity. People with a more negatively valent style are more likely to experience sadness, frustration, dissatisfaction, and anxiety. Most ENFJs and Type 3s overlap heavily in their emotional style. ENFJs and Type 3s tend to be energetic and enthusiastic across most situations. They take on new challenges with excitement, confidence, and a sense of adventure. ENFJs and Type 3s are usually more optimistic than most people, and they generally feel like they can handle what life throws at them. Like most ENFJs, you and many Type 3s share a relatively high energy level. You both re prefer to be in motion, actively engaged in something interesting, rather than sitting back and observing. In the best case, the two of you feed off the energy and excitement, and there's rarely a quiet moment when you're together. Like boys, both ENFJs and Type 3s are generally more positive than negative. They are more likely to express enthusiasm, satisfaction, happiness, and other positive emotions across most situations. Like everyone else, they occasionally experience negative emotions like sadness, anxiety, and anger, but they soon return to their usual pleasant state. Together, ENFJs and Type 3s tend to share an optimistic outlook and a resilience to stress. 
ENFJ and Type 3 Intellectual Styles Your intellectual style describes how you receive, process, and pursue different kinds of information. Differences in intellectual style are captured well by two dimensions, ideas and aesthetics. Ideas describes your appetite for new information and your interest in complex, challenging material. People high on the ideas of dimension have an appreciation for complexity and technical details. People lower on ideas are less interested in learning for learning's sake, and they prefer to simplify complex topics down to the essential details. Aesthetics capture your relative interest and sensitivity to the aesthetic information and its emotional impact. People higher on the aesthetics dimension usually have a strong artistic interest and a deep appreciation for beauty in many forms. Those lower on aesthetics tend to value practical application over artistic merit and usually adhere to more conventional standards of beauty. ENFJs tend to be deep thinkers, bright, curious, and philosophical. They're highly receptive to new ideas and drawn to complex, abstract concepts. ENFJs enjoy taking in large amounts of information and typically have one or more creative outlets. Type 3s are usually highly effective, efficient thinkers, capable of processing large amounts of complex information and distilling it down to its most useful elements. They are pragmatic and grounded and prefer to apply their knowledge to conventional, practical pursuits. As an ENFJ, you and many Type 3s share a love of learning new, challenging ideas. You both appreciate complexity and nuance, and the two of you can spend hours discussing and debating a wide range of topics. When you are together, you often elevate the conversation to a more theoretical, philosophical level. How about you as an ENFJ and Enneagram Type 3? What are the information about you that you would like to share aside, of course, from what you have mentioned? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. ENFJ and Type 3 Organizational Styles Your organizational style describes your habits around organization and planning. Your organizational style influences how structure your time is and physical space. Differences in organizational style fall along two dimensions, industriousness and orderliness. Before we continue, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official personality guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. Industriousness describes your persistence, need for achievement, and intensity of focus. People higher on industriousness usually organize their behavior around a few important long-term goals. People lower on industriousness are usually more focused on the present and will more easily change their focus when new opportunities appear. Orderliness describes your need for regularity, order, and structure in your environment.